All right, there is a good chance that you probably never thought about home design or construction until you were actually ready to buy your first home, right? Yeah, but some high school students are doing just that and getting ready to compete in the home show this March. Caitlin Francis went to see how they're getting ready. Take a look. You have to make a decision if you're going to go from here to here. And then what I would do is you will line this up. You see oh. that? I was trying to figure out um, these roof planes. It's kind of has, it has an overhang here, so it's just trying to figure out how tall the wall really is because it's kind of hidden by the roof. So I'm trying to cut all the walls out right now so I can start assembling them onto the floor plan here. Dr. Wendy Koo is teaching Architecture 3 at Simsbury High School where students like Henry are piecing together prototypes of model homes they've designed. Right now is to just finish building and modeling right now just the outline and then after we finish that we can move on to actually building the real walls and putting the roof on it and everything. Students start this project day one of school in the fall and it's all to get ready for the Home Builders and Remodelers Association of Central Connecticut home show in March where the model homes are submitted in a student competition. So we're in a unique situation. We're very fortunate that the school district really uh, appreciates and uh, supports the program and the architecture sequence. So we have the opportunity to offer the architecture class to them as, as freshmen, as ninth graders. And then we have, um, we offer architecture one, architecture two, and architecture three, which is the class that you witnessed. And the architecture three class is a capstone level course. So by the time they enter this contest and build the house, they've already had a couple of years where they've practiced uh, designing, they practice practiced um, making models with balsa wood, they've practiced going into their houses. So yeah, they've had a couple of years to really experience the whole process of designing a house. Like right here, I am. I just went up my stairs, um, and now that I'm in my hallway, I can see that it's a little bit narrow, and it just it doesn't give like good spacing for someone to walk through. Valerie Rodriguez is using virtual reality to take a look at her work so far. She's a senior and looking at colleges with architecture programs just like other students in class. The colleges that I'm looking at, I'm making sure that they have an architecture program because I think it's something that I want to go into in the future. Awesome. I think this is a rectangle, isn't it? Well, I do have a lot of students that have gone through this program and they've gone on to become architects or have gone to work in the engineering field or construction management or um, something related to construction and architecture. I really enjoy hearing back from my alumni um, when they come back and tell me about what they're doing now in the field. And I especially appreciate their reflection on how they were able to carry on the skills and knowledges that they and experiences that they had when they were in high school. Students work collaboratively with their peers and with their teachers, which is another real world practice similar to working with clients. Now the students are done designing their houses on our software program, Chief Architect. Um, they have finished designing the exterior, they've gone in, they've finished their floor plans, so that includes the kitchen design, the bathrooms, the layout of the um, bedrooms, the stairs. They've done their virtual reality design, so they've gone in um, to their houses through the virtual reality system to kind of get that reflection and feedback of what changes need to be done. So now we are actually in the 3D modeling part for their one-fourth scale. Um, they're creating prototypes at this point to make sure that their walls and their roofs work. And then after they have done that, we're going to go and start using the actual finishing materials to start creating and assembling the houses. So this helps, right? Yeah. Yeah. So first we printed like all the the walls out. Mm -hmm. I already did all mine, but like you can see Josh is over there. So you just, we printed all the walls out and then we're cutting them out of cardstock. Okay. And these are gonna end up being our templates for when we take the final like siding material. They even get to use 3D printers for some of the materials, as you can see senior Nathan Cronoyer using to make windows. They're getting down to the wire to get everything done by March. I'm proud of all these kids. Wow. 
that's amazing. I mean, that's just incredible to be able to do that in so high school. So incredible. And Caitlin's actually going to go back in and see how these students are going to do but right before the competition, and then she's going to head to the home show to see how everything shakes out for them. Unbelievable. But in the meantime, if you're interested in learning more about the Builders and Remodelers Association of Central Connecticut Home Show, we have all the information on the Channel 3 app. Yeah, great to go see and be inspired.